How's it going everyone? Lucian Sword here and today we're going to be doing a copycat challenge. It's been a while since I've done the last one. I've only done a copycat challenge twice I think on, on YouTube but I actually do it all the time. It's basically where I play random for the very first match of the session and then Whatever my opponent is using for Legend, that is what I'm going to use in the next match. And just keep going and going until I don't feel like playing anymore on that. So it looks like we're going against Ragnir. So that means next match, I will be Ragnir. And whoever I'm going against in that match, I'll be the next match and so on and so forth. And just have some fun that way. It's kind of like playing random but not so random. And I actually really, really like Reno, so this will be fun. Oh, get out of here, Ragnar. Whew. He actually could have got back, I think, but I don't know what happened. He just didn't touch the wall or something. Man, he likes to move. I like to move it, move it. Man, Orb is just really, really good. Oh, I almost got him with that down stick. That would have been cool. Oh, got him with that neutral. And the bomb. And he's gone. <laughs> bomb and he's gone. I'm already rhyming. Oh, my goodness. For how fast he's moving, he actually... Like, we're doing fine. Oh my goodness. If I could have got him off the ceiling, that just would have been the most epic KO, right? Oops. Should definitely not have tried to side air. I had no chance of hitting him, and he punished me hard. All right, Ragnar. It's now or never, big boy. I think we're gonna have a pretty good game right here. Oh, he should be dead. Yep, GG dude, GG. So, now we're gonna go on and play some Ragnar. Well played, dude. And we'll see who we get in the next match. So, I don't have to copy his skin. Um, let's just do, uh, I do love Dark Depths Ragnar. So let's do Gold Forge, Dark Depths Ragnar. When Ragnar came out, he was actually one of my favorite legends, like right away. I thought he was really, really overpowered, and to be honest, he he still kind of is. I mean, he has Axe, which is already one of the best weapons in the game, like boom, automatically. All right, so it looks like we're going to be playing Jiro next match. And then his Katar Sigs are just really good, you know. The neutral Sig will, will scoop him up and spit him out, and the down Sig is a, a really fast move, hard to punish kind of. Really good move off the edge. And then the side sig just covers a lot of distance. It can be used to my detriment, but. Got the neutral sig there. All right, going from Reno to Ragnar is a, quite a bit of a difference here, but. All right, he's probably dead here. Yep. Actually. Actually. He's still alive. Oof. I give him I give him props. Uh Jiro, this is going to be a hard matchup for Jiro just because he has such low defense. And yet, if I kill myself, it, you know, that makes it a lot easier for Jiro to win. Oh my goodness, finally got that stock. I feel like I should have killed him twice <laughs> for how much I hit him. Oh my gosh, I'm so out of practice because I've been sick for two weeks. It's gonna take me a little bit to warm up with all the different legends again. I'm still, wait, I had no recovery. Really? How did I not have a recovery there? Oh my goodness. 
All right, let's see how this uh, Jira does with the Scythe. Oh, I should have done neutral Sig. I actually would have hit. Boom. One hit from pretty much any of zero sigs, and it's just toast. Oh, I broke his recovery. Dang, that last stock of his was not very good. He died so fast. GG, dude, GG, well played though. He, he took out one of my stocks, so. Um, all right, so we're gonna play zero this time. Let's use, oh, let's use Leonardo. Obviously I have to use Leonardo because that's like the best Zero skin in my opinion. And we'll use a different weapon. How about the Neon Gleam? This is the Battle Pass Season 2 weapon. And then for the Scythe, how about the Heartbleed Scythe? This is basically the Dark Heart Scythe. So usually when I'm doing the copycat challenge, it's basically until I lose. All right, we're going against a Bordex. My son is sleeping right now, so we'll play until I lose unless he wakes up. All right, here we go. Shadona, Shadonda Donda. Shadondada. All right. Where are you going, Mordex? Where, what? <laughs> no, not like this. Nice ice string right there, buddy. Oh. I got the power of turtle power on my side. And splinter. Did I mention I got the power of splinter? Calculated bomb. Uh-oh. Better not keep jumping above me, bro, because I got a perfect sig. Well, anyways, GG, dude, GG. Oh, I didn't even die once. That's a nice three stock right there. I wish one of these avatars was three stock. Oh, well. Sorry, I can't enjoy, uh, invite. I can't join that invite, but I will play as Mordex because that's who you were playing as. Let's see. Should we go Daimyo? I have so I have so many cool Mordex skins. Octavius Mordex. I actually really like Octavius Mordex level 1, but I think for this match we're going to go Tai Lung. And we'll do Penumbral Crescent on the Scythe. And then for the Gauntlets we'll use the Idle Hands. How about? If you guys enjoy the video, please drop a like. It really helps me out. I'm always putting out the Brawlhalla content for you guys. All right, so we're going against Scarlet. That means we have to use Scarlet next match. I like that we're getting a variety of legends. Like, we haven't had to use the same legend twice. If it ever comes down to where we're going to use a legend that we've already used, I'm probably just not going to do that. We're probably just end the episode there. So it's been, it's been pretty lucky so far. Let me help you up there, Scarlet. Scarlet has a lot of power, for sure. <laughs> we go back and forth all day if you want, Scarlet. <laughs> Close one. Should have probably just kept your hammer there. Don't you think? 
I think so. Should have just probably kept your hammer. I don't know why she threw it. Man, she loves hitting those neutral errors, but the thing is, you're not gonna get a kill that way. That just does damage. You can damage me up with those neutral errors all you want, but you gotta finish the job, you know what I mean? She could have side aired me pretty, pretty good. She's almost gone, boys. Close, close. I like that she's dueling gauntlets off stage. That's brave. Bye bye. GG, dude. GG. Alright, let's go on to the next match where I will play Scarlet. And um, so far we haven't lost a game, so that's cool. I think I'll go. Hmm. I actually, my favorite one is Steam Smith, uh, Scarlet, but I like all of them here. You know what? I can't even decide. Let's do Steam Faction. This one's really cool. Um, Steam Faction, Esports version 2. I, I'll just leave her weapons to default because honestly, they're pretty cool anyways. All right, here we go. Alright, so my son woke up, uh, he's, <laughs> I heard him crying, uh, he's actually chilling on my lap right now, so, here we go. Alright, uh, controller, are you, are you there? Bro, uh, okay, he's back, he's back. Oh no, my screen flash! Oof, that one hurt. Hey man, this guy has honor. Like I was AFK and he was AFK and he didn't he didn't take advantage. But I'm still alive. But watch it, Diana. It don't take too many hits from Scarlet, and you're gonna be toast. Okay, that works too. Kind of hard to play with the baby on my lap, but I'm pretty used to it too. <laughs> if the recovery doesn't work, the, the anti-recovery will work. Let me help you back. A little bit of damage there, Diana. That's, that's what I like to see. Ooh, that was actually a good hit. But, unfortunately, Diana, you were on your last stock and I had to. Otherwise, GG, dude, GG. That, that one uh, burst of blaster damage he did right there was very clean. If you could, like, sustain that for three stocks, you would win every game, man. That was, that was incredible. All right. Um, I'll do one more game just because my son woke up and he's chilling on my lap, so it makes it kind of hard to play. Uh, that last person was Diana, so... I guess we'll go Soulbound Diana here for our last game. We haven't lost a single match in this video, so that's pretty cool. 
doing copycat challenge with that. If you guys want to get better at the game, you want to learn like all the legends. This is a good way to do it if you like 1v1. I mean, you could just play free for all as well, but some people don't like playing with lots of other people. To be honest, I understand that. I like playing 1v1s the best as well. Just something about mano e mano, you know what I mean? This guy, he spent a lot of time running away. Nice dodge, holy moly. How are you trying to hit me with that when I was like 20 miles away? You know that side sig's only for right in front of you. Come on. That's what you get for trying to hit me. Boom! I love the signatures on Soulbound Diana. They just look so cool. Again, that side sig when I'm nowhere near you. Yoop! Got him with the whip! One more, one more, one more whip. Oh my, didn't expect the ground pound, alright. Book! <laughs> Got him with the spell book. Alright, well GG Dagon, that was fun. I hope you guys enjoyed the copycat challenge. And uh... This is Lucian Sword and <laughs> little Lucian Sword chilling with me. And I hope to see you in the next video, guys. Take it easy.